Hello, McWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag, where we are going to upgrade our Bushwhackers today. Uh, and yes, Whackers multiples. We have two of them now. That's pretty cool. So let's get ahead and uh, go ahead and take a look at our X6 first. Uh, I think the fire starter could be down below. Hermes and Kentaro are falling in line. And I would say we're gonna wait for the big boy to be ready. It's one day. It's the exact day of the financial report. Oh boy. But yeah, I'm excited because I want to get some upgrades on that thing. It is absolutely due. Um, we were, man, we were running with that kind of bad me, but it's a very good medium mech, but it had a bad setup. We were running with that bad setup around for such a long time. Oh, by the way, I didn't need the X6. I needed the P1. Ah, yeah, this is the one with the two ballistic hard points. Actually, you know what? Let's build both. Why the hell not? Currently, we are running three LRM5 zoos, which always jam. I don't want them anymore. Get out of here. Uh, and we got a PPC, which is uh, technically good. It is actually quite good. But what we got here is an Auto Cannon 5 Federated. It's an 8-ton weapon. Yeah, it has a 6% jam chance. But we have better things. We have two Ultra Auto Cannon 5s, which are obviously better when it comes to damage per round. And with that, um, we are actually fine in terms of heat management. We even have a negative 14 heat. Um, hmm, how do we play this? We need to drop the PPC, that's for sure, and we need ammunition for these bad boys. Question is, do we have it? We have, a, <laughs> we have exactly one double bin. I could technically also play the single rock. But that thing generates too much recoil right now. These have two recoil per gun, which I can manage, I believe. And a 15% jam chance when firing in double mode. I think ultras are the way to go right now. The rotaries are gonna come in later. Okay, so with that being said, we got 50 shots here. That means we have 25 alpha strikes for the double. That's perfect. We don't need more ammo than that. And now we have like five tons left over and a lot of heat management. What the hell are we doing with this? Mm, we only got one energy hard point, which is a bit of a shame. So, large laser would be great. If we had one more turn, I would totally take the snub nose PPC. <sighs> Medium improved heavy. It is a. It's not good. It's not good enough, man. I mean, I could keep the LRMs. Can I? Hold up. Eh, I could keep two of them. For a little bit of splishy splashy. I want an energy weapon, though. Like, this one medium laser, will it ever fire? That's my question that I have. Is that a thing that we will actually use? We have negative 18 heat still. Wait, how does that work? Wait, what's our heat surplus? 44! Ha! Ah! I want a ton. Give me a ton, somehow. I mean, instead of Chameleon, which is really, really good, we could maybe go Endo. We don't have Endo. <laughs> so that also does not work. I want the Snub, man. Give me the Snub. We have no large laser, it seems. Wait, do we? No. A medium X-Pulse. I think this is as good as it gets. Or... Short-range missiles. Rockets? Shall we just go... Rocket Man? <laughs> it's a thing we can do. You know what? I know, these are just garbage one-shot weapons, but I want to have some fun today. Maybe a big Alpha Strike blasts a single enemy down, and that is exactly where we want to be. So I could either armor up the legs, or I could armor up the legs. Okay, I'm gonna do that. It's, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense here. Yeah. So let's get it to 120. There we go. Get a bit of back armor. No, never mind. So this is gonna be my, my mag. Double Ultra 5 and rockets. Hold up, is there anything that we can do for, like, the cockpit and, like, stuff here? Uh, hold up. Basic cockpit, no. Oh, yeah, we got the turret mount that we probably want to make use of as well. Sheath beacon, uh, I mean, it's great, but we got chameleon, so I guess we are not doing that. Uh, any support systems, a lamp booster and a UAV compartment, not really interesting. This refit takes 13 days. Oh, it is a lot. It is a lot. So, yes, we have that side torso um, turret mount upgrade. And we want to make use of that thing. Where do we put it? By the way, that's the large laser that we were looking for. This is exactly it. It's way better than the rocket setup. I should have checked it out first. But yeah, this guy has a, a bunch of energy and uh, two missile hard points. And I really want this guy to be a brawler of some sort. So what we are doing now is... Um, 
We drop the large laser. I don't think we're gonna run it. I do really like the medium, the heavy medium lasers, because we got two of them. Let's put them on the arms for higher accuracy. Because uh, they, they have a good amount of damage, but they also generate a lot of heat, so we're gonna make this count, alright? MRM-10 here on the side torso. It's pretty good. It's just an MRM-10, though. So I wonder if the turret mount is actually helping. I'll drop the jumps, I don't think... Will I use jump jets? There's an argument for it, actually. Double heavy medium. Now, let me let me think first. I think what we do is... We're gonna give it the MRM and a lot of energy weapons. The medium X-Pulse. And a regular pulse. I just want accuracy right now. That's what I'm here for. We got an angel ECM and a small advanced cockpit. The cockpit is pretty good. Um, yes, Ooh. Hmm. we need cooling. I'm, I'm torn, as you can see. We got a defensive gyro as well. Let's get some double heat sinks on the guy. I just want to make it somewhat combat ready. I want to have, have something that I can shoot at my enemies. Bunch of doubles. Just get it cool. I think it's a viable build already. It's not the greatest in the world, but it is good enough. Negative 11 heat. I'm getting a little bit higher than that in terms of heat management because I want to be able to jump around. So we only have three improved jump jets, which are a bit heavier, but we get just a little bit more jump capacity out of them. So if we run three of them, what's our jump distance? Three hex. Mm, we need another one to get to the, the five hex bonus, I guess. So I can also take three of them, which are lighter and also have three hex, huh? Yes, exactly. Give it the fourth, give it the fifth. Oh, I cannot have a fifth. Hmm. I want to. I really want to. Five hex seems good, especially for a mech like that, a 55 tonner who wants to get to the front line quickly. Uh, that means we gotta upgrade the engine a bit so that we can run... Oh god. We can't run those. Never mind, it's not gonna happen yet. So, what we have is a support hardpoint. We also have something on the arms. Like taser rifle. Kinda wanna make use of that at some point, but that means we are not shooting our arm weapons. That is not great. We give it chaff. We give it... The Mind Dispenser 5. By the way, um, I have checked mines out in my Twitch playthrough, and they are actually really good area denial weapons now. I am uh, very much in love with them. Alright, bit of shifting things around. Heavy medium. See, the thing is we don't need more cooling. And by the way, the 280 rated engine would have not been a thing that I could put in this guy easily. Look at this. Without an engine upgrade, which we don't have right now, it's just not gonna happen. I needed to drop like 6 tons minimum, that would be probably heat sinks. Or I drop the pulses to regulars. It would allow me my fifth jump jet. Okay, so what if we don't get pulse in here and just good old regular medium lasers? Let me check this out real quick. Yeah, it's just regulars. Regular medium here, regular medium there. That means we don't need that much cooling either. Uh, we have composite already, which I want to keep. I can probably drop the mine dispenser because it's not too necessary. But we could keep it. So we're basically we're basically good at that point. So there it is. That's a negative eleven heat. And oh yes, by the way, we need to uh, I need to get that jump jet in there if I want it, right? Ha! There we go. So half a ton. That means I will actually bring the mine dispenser. There we go. And then we're gonna drop. Will I drop? Nah, nah, nah. Leave the mines where they are. I don't really care about them right now. Okay, so we got five jump jets. We got um, four medium lasers, two of them heavy. We got one MRM-10 with acid. We got countermeasures. And that is it. One evasion ignore on the risk fire control system. That's pretty good, actually. And this gives us two sensor pings. Also pretty good. And we have an angel ECM. It is a mech. It is a mech that we can run. It's not optimized by any means, but I guess our goal should be to get our hands on a um, on an XL engine somehow. 
All right, another quick check. Did we have a duel here? Because if so, we're going to bring our Kintaro to the duel while we are waiting. There is a duel. All righty then. It's for Marek as well. Cool. Let's do it. Let's duel it. It is a solo, so I'm going to go with a bit of money and a bit of salvage. And the Kintaro is not even there. Ahem. <clears throat> Hold up. Three days. One, two, three. Okay. Ready to roll. Oh boy. Here we go. I kind of hope that our rebuilds are worth it in the end. But yeah, this is it. We're going to bring Terra Bird, obviously. Get over here and let's go. All right, guys. Let's go. We are in a rain uh, scenario. So we have this kind of, what is that called? Uh, jungle Monsoon. Um... We lose additional 12 heat per turn, visibility and sensors are down, plus one defense against being hit. And our movement sprint cost is upgraded by 10% because, because of the, the damp ground. So our mechs are getting soaked into the mud. Interesting. What are we fighting? Show yourself. A black jack. An accurate jack. Alright. You got some PPC action going. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Actually, I think the Spore Cloud is good, giving us more defense against being hit. And yes, I will I will enable my sensor searchlight thingy. Narc him. Did we get him? I don't think so. Yeah, it didn't look like it. Uh, this is perfect. I mean, we want to get into our desired range, and we are. So here we go. Yeah, good damage on the leg of the Blackjack. I don't think that there is, like, big thinking uh, included in this one here. We're gonna just go for it as much as we can. I do believe this guy is running double snubs. No, light PPCs. Two light PPCs, two ear mediums, and two machine guns. Wanna attack from the right side? Sure, let's go. Stay down here, keep him in our searchlight, and just go. Get the leg down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard standing up straight with a leg lost, huh? There we go. And we even have the initiative now. Cool. That means we go point blank. Right in here. We go for leg because there might be something salvageable. And we didn't get it. That was a double heat sink kit. Maybe we can get that for money or so. Or maybe just keep that thing around for building more mechs. So, first mission, quickly done. I'm happy about that outcome, uh, but we will play a bigger battle, of course. So, that's gonna come in as well today. Alright, guys, let's see what we get. Blackjacks are not the most interesting mechs, but this was a dual setup, so... I believe he has something. You wanna get that? I'm gonna get 7 gunnery support, eh? And reputation, I mean... Hold my battle mech. I'm gonna do that. Yes. All right. I can just take that and have a good time with it. Thermal exchanger. What are you doing? Oh, it's just ex oh, okay. So they changed that name to from exchanger to thermal exchanger. Negative seven ten seventeen percent heat generated with weapons fire. Plus eight visibility. Plus eight percent signature. That's good. We got zoom. For more increased sight and sensor range. Also pretty good. Light PPCs with capacitors. That's why they dealt more damage. Gotcha. By the way, I think this is an actual good combination. We have that 30 damage, 15 heat situation here for 3 tons. The, the PPC capacitor makes that uh, increase by a flat 25. So we have a 55 PPC damage, but also 15 flat heat and a jam chance. So now we get 55 for 30 heat, which is basically as good as a regular PPC for... The cost of the three tons here and one ton here. So we have a four ton regular PPC instead of a seven ton. It's amazing. Just a flat increase is fantastic. Um, so it's, it's exchange, all right? As much as I want all of these, I kind of hope that we get them randomly. Let's go. Ah, we got one and a bunch of double heat sinks and dual machine guns. So they shoot... Just twice as often. Can be set to fire between 1 and 6 shots. 10 accuracy. Yeah, it's good against battle armor. Um, how does it work? 
It says one and six shots. Oh, yes, that's right, because regular machine guns can only shoot up to three times. This can shoot up to six times. I, I guess that's what it is. I hope so. Cool. So there we go. We got some we got some mini ducker in our in our storage now. Will I use it? I think the only guy who could potentially benefit from it would be the fire starter. And honestly, 12 machine gun shots? Like having two of them? It's not bad. What we need is like tracer ammo or like high explosive ammo or so that we can benefit from these even more. But hey, let's take a look. Maybe it's not too bad of an idea to go a little bit of mini shredding. A bit of rebuilding time today, huh? Nah, let's see. Okay, so we got two days. Uh, let me see. We get... It's a long, long time until we get everything done. Wonder. We don't have the third mech bay yet. So I could just wait a full 14 days until I get my people ready. Or we hold... Here. And get the other guys ready. I really feel like the X6, X6 Bushwhacker is not there yet. I need it needs some love still. So let's let's go with this. That also allows us to take a look at the fire starter. There we go. All right. So, Mr. Firestarter. And by the way, yes, I know a lot of people like the Chameleon, but I think I'm going to leave it there for the moment. You have these two ballistic hardpoints. That's beautiful. Um, you have a negative 8 heat situation. We also have a gyro now that we can use here, which is gonna be really good for you. The plus one defense as a light mech. Mm, fantastic. Now, in order to get some more damage in, how do we get it done? Engine upgrade would be great. We have endo and ferro already. My idea was to actually put these mm, machine guns into you. Quick check on the regular ones. Ah, hold up. Two damage times three is six. So the first number is the damage output. The second number is the actual ability to shoot that often. I need to know. I, I want to check these out, man. Let's go. I think I'm going to drop the tag, which is a good thing to have. Don't get me wrong. We need a ton of ammo or something. We have half a ton. This is 400 shots. Ah, uh, this is... <laughs> it's not good. We have to drop some other firepower to actually get these in. Like this. Alright. I'll try. Okay, so we have the medium lasers out. Negative 18 heat. We need those two double heat things to make the mech viable, so we cannot drop them. I don't want to drop the jump jets. I kind of like my peel and stick armor. What I could do is reduce these lasers to small lasers, if we have them. They're only half a ton. <laughs> but the thing is, we only have one ER small. Well, well, well. I don't think it's gonna be better now. Um, these things... They have one recoil per shot above three, and a 10% jam chance. It is a test. I am curious. That's what we are here for. All right, so we put you to the front because we only have two working mech bays currently. So only the first and second mech are, ge are being worked on. And here we are, guys. All right, into the command center we go. I want to play for Marek and I want to get a good chunk of salvage. This seems good. This seems very good. I think two skull is fine. Uh, we are playing Assassination, so there might be something good to get for us. That means we get 5 out of 23. We still need that Exile upgrade. Um, so that's what we are looking for. Get the Hermes in here, get the Firestarter in here. And by the way, I do not like the Hermes as it is right now. We gotta rebuild that thing as well. But I don't want to spend too much time on it at the moment. So in we go, guys. Let's do it. It's a beautiful day. Oh, that's good. So, we have our bad boy up here on the high ground. We have his, like, uh, reinforcements in, in the water. And uh, because of that, I believe it's a good idea to just start right here. We have cover around us. Uh, we have a decent amount of range towards the enemies. And, and yes, we have 
the double ultra auto cannon setup now but we don't have any recoil reduction on our pilots yet i think visla is not really good at doing that right now so we need to train somebody else uh, anyways we do have an urban mech r5 okay can we just move out of the way and brace hermes has the er large laser so we want him in the back line blue blue flame was that it kintaro yeah, that thing wants to be on the front line. We also see an Icarus. There's a Clint with a fluid gun and pirate medium lasers. Honestly, in the early game, I also wouldn't mind a fluid gun. These things could be really good. We got a Chameleon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, the Firestarter. I mean, it is a super close-range guy, huh? But for the first... For the first round, I will actually put him into the forest so he has a bit more damage reduction. Yes, here is our ultra guy. Move forward. And brace it up. Okay. So, this is our lands. This is what we got. What do we go for first? This Irby seems to have two guns. Oh, it's rifle Irby, right? I think it is medium and light rifle Irby. So, probably want to take that guy out first, but I believe he is guarded right now. So, we're going to hold it, let them do a thing, and then... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And then go. Blue Flame, by the way, little quad mech. I think 30 or 35 ton. Hmm. That's a backstrike. That's a great opportunity. We get a lot of evasion, and we technically have a hit chance here. It's only pretty bad. So, yes, we go for Irby. Dealing uh, maximum damage, actually. Let's go. Get that guy out of the way. Got his leg open. Perfect. Double miss. That's important. Yeah, it's a periphery rifle and a heavy rifle. Gotcha. I really do wonder what the Clint is doing. 75 damage. Who is running a heavy PPC here, huh? Or a regular PPC with a capacitor. No, that's bad. Okay, move around a bit. Get Irby down. We want to focus down on one target and see if we can maybe leg him. Or just take that heavy rifle off. Perfect. I do wonder... Do we care about the periphery rifle at that point? There's an argument for not shooting this guy anymore and prioritize other guys like... The Chameleon here. <laughs> Has a lot of weapons. And his leg doesn't seem great, so that's a weak point that we can attack. Okay. So here we go. This is our ultra situation. We don't necessarily need to get into the water. So let's stay here on the high ground. Present another target to the Icarus. So that our Kintaro is not the only one. Although I don't know if he's gonna see him because of his stealth and everything. So yes, we could attack Urbi, but I think the Chameleon is a great target for all of our rockets. And we're gonna shoot twice with all of this here. Come on. Oh, so close to getting killed completely. <laughs> we have a one-shot wonder here. And you know what? I'm pretty happy because now we can sprint in and get these dual machine guns going as well. Oh, you can actually overcharge them so they will always fire twice and you can shoot them up to six times twice. Yeah, it makes sense. A lot of sense. That's good. Here come the crits. Bap, 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 bap. But we probably have a massive amount of recoil on these now. So, the large lasers. They also want to be here. Uh, let's get the Hermes up here and finish Irby. I wanted to hit the leg, but we didn't. 37 structure on the center torso. That's okay. So, blue flame is running. Okay. We started a new round. I really think at this point, we want to try to get Irby down. And yes, we have recoil, refire plus two. So, if we only shoot once... Oh, how does that work? Um, I think we get one recoil. If we shoot twice, we get two. I think this is it. So, let's lower it a bit by only shooting him once with each gun. And then have a, a higher accuracy next round. We need somebody with a military or ex-military background and focus fire to be recoil neutral. So a new... 
A new pilot needs to take this Wacker here, and then we're gonna take Visla on the new Bushwacker, which is a bit more like missile oriented and laser oriented. I think I could take that one, that one stability. Get out of here. It's a pretty good finisher. It's a very good striking unit that we got there. So, short range missiles, wanna be short, so we go over here and we're gonna attack the Clint. I should have probably moved because our stability doesn't look great, right, but I don't care. Get wrecked. Oh, ho, 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 ho. stack pole explosion. It's kind of, kind of a shame because I believe this guy also had some interesting weapons. Oh, yeah. And because of the, of the blast, we now got unsteady. Oh boy. Oh boy. 27% on that guy, huh? Where to go? There's a side attack here. I think I'll take it. I also move only for three evasion just to maybe attract fire from this guy. Our Kintaro doesn't look great anymore. Can I take an, a similar spot? I could. I need to get closer though. So, we're gonna get in front of our friend. Shoot once. Snap shooting here. It's fine. 32% is not too bad though. What is the blue flame gonna do now? So far it's just scooting around. The hell was that? Like, a disco laser variant? That looked amazing. I, I want it. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Um, yeah, we need to generate evasion again, so let's go with that. And um, show our back to the guy. Yes, I will do that. Still have back armor. The rest of my armor doesn't look great anymore. Okay, here we go. What's he gonna do? Don't you dare. Got my arm! No! Uh -huh. Okay, so we lost two SRMs because of that. Alright, fair enough. Buddy, 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 you gotta push this guy. There's like no way around it. We gotta do it. Ugh, nasty. This guy has no evasion right now, so we're gonna go for it. It's not enough. It's not enough. It could be that our Kintaro is getting severely punished here. Dudes, I want this laser. That's the, it seems amazing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Again, push him with the bigger boys. Hmm. I'll, I'll just move, no sprint. Snapshots, one shot, good, one hit. Okay, um... I don't know if the machine guns make any sense right now. And I mean, yes, we want to use them as the last weapon to attack. The idea is to shred the armor first with our bigger impact weapons and then go in with a little splash. So if I only shoot once with them, I have no recoil. Okay. We got an arm. But it didn't matter. Run, run, run. I think getting distance between me and the, the Icarus up there is going to be key. <sighs> Somebody has to deal with the blue flame. So the bait was taken, perfect. They are now in a brawl with the fire starter, and him having PPCs makes it so that we probably have the upper hand here. Okay, keep going, buddy. Keep shooting. Ah, it's an LBX large laser quick cell. Now I doubt that that thing is going to be any good. Or is it? Or is it? Dude, it's the blue flame. It's a 45 ton, actually. It just doesn't go down. I mean, yes, we have that chance now. Okay, fine. I'll go for it. Here we go, on the leg. Okay. Which side did we open? The left side. It's good. That's where we want to be. So please no stray shot. Come on. We 
Got the knockdown. By the name, the pilot's name is Boltergeist. <laughs> oh, man. So, did he take any... Wait a second. I wanted to say, did he take any, any damage from falling? He is still on his feet. It is a quad mech. You need to do more to them, huh? For them to fall. That's kind of funny. So attack the right side, which is already very damaged. And I think this time we're going to go in with the machine guns. That's good. We destroy it. Medium pulse and two double heat sinks. He's not unsteady, though. His initiative is 12, so more than the fire starter. I don't really care about that, though. We're fine here. Let's get the other leg as well. So what happens if I take this one? It's technically a leg, not an arm, right? Power, Let me power it up. Go for a kick. Do that. See what's coming. Ah, got the side torso down. By the way, Blue Flame, 45! I misinterpreted that guy. Come on. Oh, I'm here for the salvage. Okay, so this guy's down. I mean, it's good. We want to get out of this mission as well. We don't have enough for an offensive push, which I would have gladly taken. Okay, so here it is. Last flight of the Icarus. I think this round he's gonna go down then. What's that, by the way? Oh, it's a dead mech. I thought that was like a geyser or so. So, machine guns both jammed. We go for the... We go for a kick attack. Kick him hard, kick him good. That's a good hit. Side also down. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. Okay, he is 12. <gasps> oh, he's gonna take another turn unless we kill him now. Oh, that's not what I planned. That's absolutely the opposite. Yikes. We don't have the range here to intercept him. So sprint and go vigilant. My fire starter has no evasion right now. But it's good because he's a bad shot. Cool. Cool. We did it. Ahem. Let's uh, try this again. Going in with the machine guns this time. <clears throat> so we got the leg. I need to drink real quick. And uh, he is getting knocked. We got another medium X pulse down. So the only thing he has is his PPC. He lost the sight also. He is not incapacitated. Pilot injured. Four out of five health. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's not over. Three out of five health now. Cool. Go for the face, but only once. We hit center. We hit center. Okay. Let's be done. So the guy's down to turn one. That's the good news. And I'm here for the salvage now. Oh, that's nothing. I mean, worst comes to worst, we're gonna use the fire starter to get it done. But I kind of want to get more headshots out. Let me see. That's literally nothing. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Okay, Lafay, you gotta do it now. Move around a bit. Get the machine guns in. Don't blow him up completely, but make it so that he's not firing back at us anymore. He's panicked. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, center torso down. Okay. We have to find some SRMs to replace the ones that we've just lost on our Kintaro. Our brawler is a bit crippled now. Mm. That's fine, though. Um, speaking of replacing and rebuilding, uh, we just uh, have seen that our Hermes is in dire need of heat management. We just found a thermal exchanger, so that is an option. But... Um, I don't know if the Wacker would be better uh, to have that, the new one. We could maybe overload it with a little bit more, like, weaponry and uh, see how this is gonna go. Um, sure. So, lost an arm. Not good. And yes, it was a heavy PPC. 
that's a very big investment of weight, especially early on. I don't think it's going to be good. Large laser exostar for accuracy. What is the negative of this? Extra heat? Hmm. Pirate laser. Plus one accuracy, but a weapon damage variation. So you can do as little as 16 damage or as much as 38. Who knows? There's a roll. More machine guns. There is advanced zoom. Doesn't give you... Oh wait, it does give you an accuracy bonus. Would be good for the Waka. I like that. We gotta think about it. We got some quick cell double heat sinks. We got some energy range sensors. Ooh, negative 50% minimum range. I mean, that's a PPC thing, right? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Speedy lag actuators. There they are. But I do not like the stability threshold down. They are technically quite okay. Got a thermal mass whenever we get external heat, right? No, no, just when we are at 40 heat, we dissipate 36 once. Not bad. This is like an emergency. I'm gonna get cooled again. When you hit the red line, but it equalizes over the next three rounds. When you hit the red line, but it equalizes over the next... What does equalize mean? Can we use that multiple times? Does it mean like we have a three-turn cooldown on this thing? Because if so, oh, that's amazing. Fluid acid. Advanced targeting computer. Yeah, we have a jam multiplier here on this guy. We could technically use it. It doesn't give us any accuracy bonuses, though. But gives us breaching shot. Pirate SRM-6 could be a replacement for the stuff that we lost. Oh, there's a good chunk of stuff in here. A jam multiplier would be very nice so that we can fire more often and reliably. I kind of like that. Or do we have one of those already? No? No, I don't think so. I will pick the thermal mass. We have a spiked fist here for a bit of like punch attack action. These are also very valuable. Energy range... Ah, uh, this is difficult. I kind of want that for the for the energy waka. The zoom is fantastic, I'll take it. I don't think I'm gonna take another weapon system with me, so it's gonna be all just um equipment here. So let's take a look at what we want. Yes, I could the speedy legs, but I feel like the energy range one is currently better. It's not very valuable, but it is better. It helps us. And then I'll also take the Spike Fist, because it's just it's just so good. Good. So, that being said, I'm gonna click the button, and the list is very short, which means we're gonna get a good chunk of random stuff as well. So here we go. Blue Flame, one out of zero. Five, zero out of five, that's what I mean. Uh, another part of a Chameleon, Clint, Icarus, and Urban Mech. We get the Heavy Peep, we get the Exostar Medium Lasers, which give us a bit more accuracy at the cost of three heat. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. The periphery rifle. I mean, it's a rifle. It's only one ton. That's the thing. 20 damage for two heat. But it's primitive. I'm gonna get rid of that. There are some small laser exostar as well. That's not bad. The zoom is there. We got some uh, double heat sinks. We have a basic sensor. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of that. We got the Viewmaster quick cell cockpit, which reduces your armor, but gives you an amazing sight. You basically take your cockpit glass away so that you can see a bit clearer. But uh, I don't think it's gonna be good for us. I'm saying no. No, thank you. And yeah, we got some ammo, whatever. Alrighty. That was not too bad. So, guys, let's, uh, let's fiddle around with our builds a little bit more. Can we play another one? Oh, I'm looking at the time right now. Uh, no. Okay. So, the thing is, I gotta get my son from school today. And uh, that's gonna be like in 20 minutes. So, I would say we're gonna do all of the building stuff and the, the new mission in the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this one today. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time, guys. Goodbye.